Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. C Chronicles is my name. Thank you very much for joining me today. My content is fragrance reviews, fashion and lifestyle videos. So if that sounds like something you are interested in, uh, you know, watching, please do consider subscribing and joining this family. I would appreciate that. And to my returning subscribers, thank you so much for coming back. I appreciate you, you know, coming to this channel always. I have sent discoveries for you today. Uh, I have Joe Malone. I have six Joe Malone sent discoveries discoveries okay um i bought these off the joe malone website uh let me just show you quickly what i am talking about okay uh there's this okay this is the uh scent discovery box uh by joe malone it's um i think they call it something calendar if I'm not mistaken, I, I will link where you can purchase, oh, not, not where you can purchase, obviously you can purchase it off the Joe Malone website, uh, but I'm going to try and uh, and type what it's called. Okay, so I have this, and then this would be the sixth one, but before I do those, I just thought, since I'm talking about Joe Malone, I may have as well just give you a brief um you know a brief overview of the joe malones that i actually own okay so i'm just gonna try and move fast so that this video does not go on forever okay so the first one i'm going to talk about before i talk about the scent discoveries so I'm, i hope i didn't confuse you there before i talk about the scent discoveries i'm going to talk to you about this one this one is called vanilla anise this is obviously within my collection okay this is a soft spicy yummy uh anise okay with a touch of citruses and the florals in there it is marketed as unisex okay um it is a bit um it is a bit animalic it is also powdery it does have a powdery dry down it's got that vanilla uh but the vanilla here in as much as it's called vanilla anise is barely detectable so if you buy this because it is called vanilla anise and you're expecting a vanilla bomb maybe not so much because the vanilla is there but it's just a touch off okay very summery uh fragrance and i would definitely repurchase but this is getting harder to find okay now the next one uh, within my collection which i own is elderflower and gooseberry this um has been discontinued okay I think if, if I'm mixing the two, then it means the vanilla one is the one that's been discontinued or this one. I'm not quite sure. Okay. This one's marketed for women. It's elderflower and gooseberry. Okay. Uh, this has got your black elder and your lychee in there. It's creamy. It's delicate. It's fluffy. It's got the, uh, the gooseberry mousse in there. Slightly sweet, slightly floral. Lasts up to four hours. Uh, so it's got, you know, it's okay. Uh, considering that it's a cologne. Okay. And it's got moderate sillage. And like I said, it's marketed for women so this is elderflower and gooseberry now on to the uh, scent discoveries i'm going to give you a quick overview uh, so that you can make a decision on your own and i'm going to tell you the ones that i felt you know captured my heart the first one obviously is none other than uh wood 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 sage and sea salt okay i don't know if you can see that um wood sage and sea salt okay you can't see that but this is wood sage and sea salt okay this is an aquatic aromatic salty marine like uh fragrance um it's got uh the citrus is there it turns a bit spicy um and then it's it's also unisex this you can definitely uh you know purchase uh uh, uh, uh you know even males can i, I think males would actually not mind smelling like this it smells like the sea obviously and it's a great summer scent and it's a favorite for many so wood sage and sea salt is definitely not new okay so i'm just bringing it here because i'm talking about the joe malones and i can't skip it because it was in the scent discovery box okay i'm not spraying these little um testers because i did spray them and then i took notes so to those that you know would wonder why are you not spraying them so that you can test them i took notes and you know uh, uh and these come in a uh, 1.5 ml okay these are the joe malone testers they come in 1.5 ml i feel this is a good you know way to discover the sense uh, you can make your choice from here if you want like i said i've got six because when i purchased um when i purchased this scent discovery they were kind enough to throw in another one a, you know as a freebie uh the next one is wild uh blue bell okay wild blue bell this one is marketed for women this is one that i like 
it's got some cloves some dew some uh some dew drop in here green leaves some peach okay okay it's got some musk um this is your fresh spicy floral a bit green uh musky sweet scent okay uh it's got the peach here which mixes well with the wildflowers and it's got that green as well so it is quite gorgeous and and the lasting power is not bad i think this is full bottle worthy for me i am gonna you know just recap this before i end this video to show you or to tell you about the ones that i feel are full bottle worthy so i've just put that one on the side that one's marketed for women and it's a de definitely yes for me um peony blush and suede okay peony blush and suede i know this is just ridiculous. I don't know if you can see that. Peony blush and suede. It's got your red apple, your peony, your rose, your jasmine. It's got your carnation and your suede. It's leathery and it's also a fruity floral, okay? It's a subtle scent which, uh, regardless of the suede presence, the apple overdose kind of, you know, is the one that makes a statement here. Um, uh, 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 yeah, but... It, the, the 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 suede in here and and the apple i think the apple is the one that pulls more so i tend to kind of you know scramble to get that suede but it is of course peony blush and suede so uh if you buy it for the suede you know just expect 50 50 50 50 apple 50 percent of the apple and the suede pulling each other apart okay uh, it's okay, but to me, I, I don't feel this is a uh, full bottle worthy to me. That's my opinion. But based on what I said, if you like what I said, then you obviously you can go ahead and purchase this one. Okay, the next one I have here is, it must be Honeysuckle and Divana. Okay, Honeysuckle and, uh, uh, Honeysuckle and Divana. Okay, so obviously there's going to be some Divana here, some Honeysuckle, some Rose Moss. It has like a sharp herbal bitterness to it, okay, and that uh, mixes with like a faint honeysuckle, okay, and it's must by the rose, all right. Um, it's a bit intense for the Joe Malones, and because of its intensity, you know, it is a cologne, but I felt as though this one has a decent lasting power, so I put this one on a full bottle worthy, uh, you know, kind of um on that full bottle worthy kind of zone okay i may uh, uh uh purchase this one uh because i think because of the lasting power that is the the no-brainer for me okay and if i didn't mention that one is marketed for women okay and the next one uh, that i wanted to talk about or the next one in this little discovery box is lime be bezel and mandarin lime bezel and mandarin okay um this one is your um it's got your lime obviously your orange your bergamot your basil your thyme uh it's got the lilac the iris the vertiver the patchouli okay so it's a very pungent one this one this one is very pungent okay a bit unbalanced for me a little suffocating a little bitter okay uh probably one of the most long-lasting ones is also marketed for uh it's marketed unisex so if you are looking for a joe malone that's gonna do the work this lime bezel and mandarin is probably gonna be one that i recommend to you will i purchase it myself no i found that there's some note in here that's quite irritating it's a bit bitter not that i have a problem with bitter fragrances but for that reason i don't think you know this is one that uh you know i would want to um purchase okay now the the the, the last one i'm going to talk about is uh and this 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 was the freebie okay which i got after purchasing this so there's five that come in here they threw a sixth one in there this one is english pear and freesia okay english pear and freesia and this is marketed for women okay so obviously this is your floral fruity musky rose green powdery scent it's got that powdery dry down you will not get the powder in the opening it, it dries down powdery it's your beautiful pear um you know which mixes with the tart and gives it like a zingy sharp uh, rhubarb you know that is sweet and fruity i like it i like it a lot um i actually have an oil of this um english pear and freesia let me see if i can show you i have a uh an oil of this and and i i am completely in love with this oil okay this i bought off the perfume people they do fragrance oils for you know uh joe malone's as well i just love this one so this is full bottle worthy 
uh to me you know uh either as the scent or as the uh uh you know as, as the perfume oil whichever way you prefer so yeah there you have it i had uh i was talking about scent discoveries this is just to help somebody who wants to maybe make a decision on purchasing the joe malones i had eight for you today now in terms of the ones that i would definitely consider purchasing uh if money is no object um i would definitely consider purchasing the honeysuckle and divana as well as the um wild bluebell okay the wild bluebell these two are the ones i definitely go for and i feel a full bottle worthy for me now it's important to note that joe malone makes colognes okay these are colognes so i know a lot of people uh, you know, talk about the longevity, the longevity. Now, if you know the difference between a cologne, an eau de toilette, a parfum, an intense, and, you know, then you will know that, uh, you know, for colognes, if you're looking for colognes, these are the fragrances that are going to be mild, airy, you know, uh, not suffocating at all. And that is what you expect. So these are the two chosen ones for me. Um, yeah, so that is what I had to say about the scent discoveries from Joe Malone. I uh, hope you found this useful if you were looking to purchase any. Uh, I know Joe Malone sold. It's not longer, you know, uh, uh, um, it's, it's no longer under the original ownership, if I'm not mistaken. They sold it, but um, I'm not sure about the, the, the fragrances that they're releasing at the moment, whether there's anything uh, different there. But I'm talking about what I have here based on the scent discoveries. Thank you very much for joining me today. My name is C. Cron Chronicles. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and I hope you found it helpful. Let's meet in the comment section where we'll talk some more. Stay safe, stay blessed, and remember smelling good is a form of good manners. Cheers.